It's almost giving me Bozo lips, like Bozo the Clown lips or something. So I think that's what I'm seeing when I look at it. And I'm really not drawn to it immediately. There's just something that's off put into me about the shade. And that's all I'm gonna say. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shemaine and I do lipstick swatches. For those of you who are new here, welcome to the Lipstick Swatch family. If you have been with me, I thank you for your continued support. So in today's video, we are going to be swatching something from L'Oreal. It is their L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lipstick, the Less Macarons Scented Liquid Lipsticks. So I have these, I have the chocolate scented ones that I got like a year ago and I absolutely love these. They smell like chocolate heaven. If you're a chocolate lover, that's all the reason you need to get these. Love them so much. Plus the quality is there. They're great lipsticks. So um, I picked up, let's see, two, four, six of the Les Macaroon lipsticks. Let me see if I can pick them up here. And these are not that new. They've been out for a while, but I just literally picked them up because I knew that it would be easy to find them. So here you go. I got these six beautiful colors. And I actually got these um, at Ulta. Oops. Yeah, I got these at Ulta, buy two, get one free. So I bought four and I got two of them for free. Um, I always wanted them, but I knew that it wasn't gonna be hard for me to find them just because they're not like a limited edition or anything. At least I don't think they are. And I really did love the chocolate one. So I knew that um, I wouldn't be disappointed in these, hopefully not. So we'll just jump right into the colors and yeah, get this video on the roll. Okay, so let's get started with the first shade. This is called, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. oh, this is called, gosh, I am getting blind. Is it Mon, Mon Caramel? I think it's Mon Caramel, M-O-N. Yeah, this is Mon Caramel. This is shade number 822. So from the name of it, I'm going to assume it's some kind of caramel shade and from the packaging. So let me smell it first. So these are supposed to have notes of like uh, vanilla, um, macaron or almond. Well, that is not bad. That is not bad at all. And the one thing about these is that they they last their long lasting lipsticks. So I know I'm probably gonna struggle to take these off. So let's get started here. I don't wanna leave them on my lips for too long because I already know. Okay. That they are gonna be hard to get off. See, and this is what I remember about the doe foot applicator. It makes it so easy. It grabs enough of the product so you don't even have to dip back in the tube. Yeah. I have no reason whatsoever to go back in the tube. Like this applicator holds enough product to cover both my lips. And it smells so good. So this is not, uh, this is not actually a bad color. Um, it's, I wouldn't say it's that caramelly. Maybe I need to dim my lights. Hold on. 
Maybe now you can see the color a little bit better. I dimmed my light a little bit. What I can also remember is that these take a little longer to dry. It feels a little bit tacky, um, but then that goes away after some time. You can put a little powder on top, translucent powder or something, and that will help to mattify that tacky or sticky feeling because it does go away, but it doesn't immediately go away if you get what I'm saying. So it does have that feeling. Um, as far as the color, for me personally, I would wear a darker lip liner with this just to give it a little bit more depth and definition to my lips. But other than that, I think it's a doable color. It's a seasonal color. You can wear it whenever. I don't see any problem with that. And it's going to be easy to match it with plenty outfits that you already have. So I, yeah, I don't have a problem with this one. I actually like it. Give me a thumbs up if you do. Okay, so our next shade is called Guava Gush, and this is number 824. And this looks like a cute color. Let's see, shall we? But I can tell you these are more like summer shades, I would say. So I would be super excited to wear this even in the springtime. So yeah, these are more like our spring and summer shades. But at the end of the day, you can wear your lipstick whenever and wherever you want to. Oh, okay. This is definitely fresh and fun that's the kind of vibe that i get from it as soon as i swatched it like this would be a fun shade to wear at the beach or like a pool party This is pretty. I swear my lips are gonna fall off by the time I'm done with these swatches. Cause the first shade was so hard to come off. But what I used was my Luna by Luna lip oil to help to remove the first lipstick. And that's what you'll need, some type of oil base to remove like a liquid matte. It's not a shade that I would immediately gravitate towards, but I can picture myself in situations or in places where I could wear the shade of lipstick. So it's, like I said, it's fun, it's it's playful, it's young, it's fresh. It definitely gives me that spring and summer vibe. So I wouldn't knock it. I can definitely play this up with, yeah, like a darker lip liner and give it, yeah, more dimension. But I can definitely see myself having tons of fun with this color. And did I mention it smells good? Guys, these really do smell good. So give me a thumbs up as well if you think this is a cute color. I hope my lips make it through this video. Next shade is number 818 and this one is called Dose of Rose. It kind of looks a little bit lavender to me. So let's do the hand swatch. Okay, I can see rose. Dose of rose. All right, so I'll 
put it in one more time and then we'll get this on the lips. Okay. Huh. It's definitely a cooler rose as well. I feel about this one it's really cool on my skin tone hmm. I'm not sure how I feel about this color I just there's something about this shade and I would either have to mix this with another shade or judge it up with a lip liner but I would definitely not wear this shade just like this because I'm looking it's almost giving me bozo lips like bozo the clown lips or something so I think that's what I'm seeing when I look at it and I'm really not drawn to it immediately there's just something that's off put into me about the shade and that's all I'm gonna say. If I keep talking, then this is not gonna get any prettier. So this is what I have to say about this shade. Um, not my favorite so far, so we are just gonna move right along to the other shades. So we're halfway through the lipsticks. I've got three done, we got three left, and we're moving right along. This is the shade number 820, and it's called Praline, Praline de Paris. These are so hard to read. And this looks like some shade of pinky purple as well. Good. Now this color, I like this. That is pretty. Oh yeah. This I can deal with. There was just something off about that other color that I quite couldn't put my finger on. But this is making me feel a lot better. Now I know we're doing something and we're going somewhere. We're going places with this one. This actually complements my skin tone too. One thing I keep forgetting not to do is to rub my lips together because that can create patchiness with this lipstick because it's a little tacky at first before it completely dries down. So if you keep rubbing your lips together, it's going to give you that patchy effect. So you don't want that. And I keep forgetting. But I, um, oh, I like this. Ooh. Hmm. I like this color. This is not a bad pink. It's like a pinky purple. And I think it definitely compliments me it looks nice it's you know again more summery vibe spring summer vibe that I can deal with so I'm not mad at this one I can definitely get a lot of uses out of this color again this is a color that I probably already own in my collection it's not a unique color it's a color that I've seen before um, but it's also a color that works and I definitely can't argue with that. It's beautiful. It's a great pinkish purplish color that uh, you can rock on your summer days and your summer nights. But I dig this one. What do you guys think?
Next shade up is number 830. This is called Black Current Crush. And this one is looking like your dark berry lipstick. This is the most wintry shade I've seen from the set so far. And I do like a dark berry lipstick. Like I've always said, there's some sort of mystery that you can associate with a dark berry lipstick. And I'm pretty sure I have a shade like this though. Yes. Ooh. This is swatching right now. And you know what? A dark berry lipstick may not be everyone's cup of tea. But I like this one. It definitely takes some time uh, getting used to wearing a lipstick of this shade. Also, it's not the most forgiving shade when you mess up. You really have to, it's like wearing a red lipstick or any dark lipstick as a matter of fact. You really have to take your time and be precise with applying a lipstick like this because, or a lipstick of, you know, this shade because when you do mess up, you have to go in with a concealer and clean it up. So it's not the easiest. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's super easy to apply with this applicator, but if you mess up, it's gonna take some time to clean it up, but the color is, it's gorgeous. I actually love this color for a fall winter color. I feel like this would be a great color for a dark, gloomy, gray skies. You know, just one of those regular depressing winter days. I feel like <laughs> this color would be a great shade to wear and to help yourself feel good, to get out of the winter blues. I mean, it's not like a hot pink or anything, but it still kind of helps you to feel good during those long, cold winter days at work. I feel like this is a color that would just, you know, help you to push through just a little bit more. So I do like this color. I would definitely wear this. I think it, it complements me really well as well. So this one is getting a thumbs up from me for sure. I like it a lot. So, lastly but not leastly, my lips are sore. We have Shade number 828, and this is called Frame. Oh my gosh, I don't know what this is called. Frame, frame, something frenzy, and I can't really make it out. Frame. Frambois Frenzy? Is it Frambois Frenzy? Something like that. It's number 828. My eyes hurt. It's hard to read the names of the shades on the cover. So let's get this swatch. This is looking like a hot pink, first of all. It is. Oh, wow. Ooh. Hot pink for hot girl summer, but we're in winter, boo. We can have a hot girl winter too, so. Wow! Yikes. Do you see how that's looking? Hmm. 
I feel like I'm ready to salsa or something. This is such a cute and fun color. It's like, like it's even making me feel happy right now. That's how fun this color is. It's bright, it's bold, it's cheery, it's summery, and there's a little bit of fire in there. It's it's really like a hot pink to me at least. And um, I can have so much fun with this color as well. I noticed that, yeah, majority of the less macarons or the color that I got, these are very fun summery colors and this one fits right into it. I'm getting all sorts of summery vibes from this color. It's just beautiful. It's, I, I, I don't have the word. So thumbs up from me for this one. Okay guys, I had to take a sip of water there. But let's just recap uh, these lipsticks here for a second. These are great, like I said, I've had these in the chocolate version, the Liz Chocolats, love them, absolutely great. They are long lasting. Uh, one of the drawbacks though is that when you first apply them, they do feel a little bit sticky or tacky. That's because they, they take longer to dry than most other liquid matte lipsticks. But once they do dry, they last for a very long time. So once you can get over that little tacky phase, then you'll be all right for the rest of the day. You can eat, you can drink, and these will not budge. They are so difficult to remove. Like I said, I've been using my lip oil here and this is what I've been using between swatches. But my lips are seriously super sore and dry. Um, but these do last for a very long time. Drugstore lipsticks have come a long way, my friends. A very long way. And they are so comparable to a lot of the high-end lipsticks. So, you know, you don't have to spend your hard-earned coins on high-end lipsticks when you can find some comparable ones at your local drugstore. So, I definitely give these a thumbs up. I really do like them. And if you do, let me know in the comment section below. If you like the shades, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more swatch videos from me, then make sure to go ahead and click the subscribe button. And don't forget the notification bell because like I always say, I don't write letters, I don't send smoke signal whenever I post a video. So if you miss out, you miss out. You're gonna have to ask your auntie, your uncle, your neighbor, your dog because there's no other way for you to find out if you don't click that notification bell, period. <laughs> Anyways, I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. And I will catch you in my next lipstick swatch video. Bye.